every day is straight pride day. How many times have I heard that one, you know? Every day, every day that's not Mother's Day is Man's Day by default, etc, etc, etc. I don't really buy that. I know there's a lot of out and open expressions of heterosexuality and culture, but there's not a day that's set aside um, to s explicitly perform that. Now, uh, Martinsburg, also known as Sayo... Martinsburg, um, has in 2006 had the biggest gay pride parade in the world, LGBT pride parade in the world, um, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. It's fucking big. This is not a city that's like trying to shut down um, uh, gay people. Like you don't see at an, at a pride parade, you know, people saying that heterosexuality is illegitimate. You know, you have to go to a forest in Michigan for that sort of thing. Um, you know, and I, I thought about it first, and it's you know probably it's just some jerk saying, uh, you know trying to be the biggest douche possible about a fairly decent point. But there's no difference between LGBT folk, other queer type people, and normative straight people. But you know what I will like about this festival? If this does happen, if this pride... Uh, pride? Pride parade. Uh, pride just sounds terrible. Uh, that's the worst portmanteau ever. Um, pie raid, maybe? And that's even worse than it's stealing pies. Delicious, delicious pies. Yeah. Anyway, the, the thing that I like about the idea of a straight pride parade is you have to think about what you're going to wear. You have to think about what you want to say when you're there. You have to think, perhaps, about the music you want to bring. So now... People are gonna, straight people are going to spend a lot of time thinking, hmm, how do I best perform my gender? And it kind of goes back into the point that, you know, while all gender is completely legitimate, all gender is also performative uh, to some extent. Everyone kind of, you know, puts themselves together in the mirror, knows how they want to look, even if how they want to look is by not having a look whatsoever. Uh, Robertson Davies has a great passage in The Liar of Orpheus uh, where he talks about um, a unique student because she was dirty, yes, but she wasn't the cultivated kind of dirty that most of the, the students were. Uh, anyway, great novel, I highly recommend it. But yeah, that's my point. I would love just for one day all straight people to actually consciously think, hmm, now, what would make me look the most heterosexual today? What would make me look, you know, the best uh, and and most genuine presentation uh, for the kind of person I am? And then that gets people thinking, you know, as opposed to saying, well, you know, oh, these people are performing gender, and meanwhile, we're just normal. Uh, you always hear that when people are trying to basically assert that the other side is suffering from false consciousness or doesn't exist. You perform... I, on the other hand, am completely normal. You know, it's it's bullshit. And a straight pride parade might actually kind of instill a little bit of consciousness about that. And there's that, and also the fact that it would be really funny if the straight pride parade draws way less people than the gay pride parade, which it will, because, you know, people in Martinsburg know how to fucking party.